A useful function that we recently added to Adaptable is gradient columns. It's a utility function that allows you very quickly to see for a column how the values relate to each other in a color coded way. It's easier to show you, so let me do that. And it's very simple to create. Um, we're using our demo site here, demo.adaptabletools.com. Um, and all you need to do to create a gradient column is just open your menu, click gradient column, click finish, and literally that's it. It creates a column for you, as you can see, with all the values um, painted according to a particular gradient. Um, so that's working here on a positive, purely positive column. What happens if you've got negative values? Well, it would do exactly the same thing for you. So let's go into this column here, order change, which has negative values, create gradient column. Um, what you can do is you have the start value of the column. This is very useful because if, for instance, um, your column only deals in numbers, say between 1 million and 2 million, you'd want the start value to be 1 million. And that way it, will, um, it won't um, create the gradient from zero, it'll create it from that start value to make sure that everything is um, painted appropriately. So here we've got the start value of one. Um, it has a maximum positive value. So let's change that because we know this can go up to 60. Um, and in fact, let's change the color so you can see how it works. We'll make that, that green. Um, we know this can be up to minus 60. Let's keep that as red. So there we are. That's the change. It's got the colors. Click finish. And now there's the column. Um, you can probably see it better if we sort it, or if we sort it this way. Um, and that's all there is to it. Um, it's a very, very simple way of seeing your columns graded that way. Um, we've created some, we have a demo called Gradient Column Demo. In this demo here, as you can see, we've actually set three. Um, and in fact, we can see we've set different colors. To take a look at what the code we've got, go to our demo site. And you can see it's very, very easy to set them up. Here we are, we've set up three gradient columns um, with the negative color, the positive color, and the base value so if you need to change it. So here's a good example. In the item count, we said that the base value is 100, which means that it, only, it, it will only start painting it based knowing that no value can be less than 100. Um, and what happens if you have very, very fast ticking data? So we have a demo in our um, demo site called Big Data, the Big Data demo, as you can see, that has uh, millions of ticking um, cells per second. And you'll see that you can still create gradient columns. So let's, for instance, create one on this column here. Um, here we are, the gradient column, click finish. And there we are, it's there. And in fact, you can even do it on a ticking column. So let's do it on this ticking column. Let's change the colors so that we can see that it's definitely working. I can make it pink for whatever reason. In fact, there's no negative values. So I don't know why I just set that one. And there we are. So you can see things will tick normally, but once they change, the gradient will then also change um, according to what you've done. So there we are, gradient column, a nice easy way to, at runtime or design time, um, paint a column so that its values match a particular range that you give it. As always, thanks for watching.